So Lee, how often does this happen? The kids go wild out here. Every day, every morning, and every morning, you watch different games unfold and different ways of playing with the environment. You mean you mean the way they the way they play in the environment or the way they interact among themselves? Both. So there may be a day where the whole game is centered around, you know, for a certain group of kids. Oh, thank you for my baby chicken. The other day, the whole game was centered around this mound right here. So the kids were running up on top of it and doing kind of like what our guy is doing right now, like hiding on one side of it. And then the next day, it goes over to the figure eight, and they're on the figure eight, and they're running around, and they're involving this mound. And then the next day, it's a completely different game, and they're all the way in the back at the little amphitheater. And there, yesterday, there were like 10 of them lying down on the ground in there, waiting for somebody. And they didn't have this before when it was pavement. They had nothing. So that it was maybe, so maybe there were jump ropes out on the playground. There were maybe some balls, but there was no kind of play like this. And I love this kind of play because the kids are so interactive with each other. Physically, emotionally, like they're having a great time. They're playing games. They're learning how to interact with each other. They have to decide who's going to go first on the mounds. They have to be careful with each other so that nobody gets pushed off a mound. Oh. And it gives them the ability to kind of play like we did back in the old days. Back in the old days, yeah. <laughs> right. If you're ever having a bad day, you come out to this or you take a nice long video and watch it. Better to be out here so you can actually have all your five senses working. And look at what you've created. Because this for kids, I honestly think if there were a way to measure this, which I know we're all about measuring these days, you would see that these kids go into school in a better, happier place. And I think it's even bigger than that, that it will help them. They'll remember this forever, that this yeah. is how they played. Well, that was one of the nicest things uh, you could ever say to a designer, what you I'm said. So that. And that was really... Well, uh, it's true. I, one of I, the, it is so hard No, it's one of the greatest compliments I've gotten. Good. <laughs> well, I... Right from the bottom of my heart, because I think we've got a kindred... Uh, belief and philosophy yeah, I, I, and it's not always um, easy to find. I think it's, people want it but they don't quite know how to yeah. believe in it. See, look at this game right here. So then she helps her up. Now somebody else is going to run down. Oh, Lauren, like, yeah. They really have to figure out how to maneuver around each other. And it's kind of life lesson stuff. Like, it's bigger than, yeah, it's fabulous. They are all happy and having a great time. But it is life lesson stuff. Yeah, it just puts a smile on my face it's, just watching them right now. Me too. That's <laughs> why this is, like, where I want to be all day. They learn so much and are having so much fun. Look at this gaggle of boys right here. They they go like in a pack. See, they're all by the trees. Oh, those trees. Something's going on. They're having a plan. Now they're waiting for somebody. Or something. Yeah, the next move. There goes a kid. He's fine. I know him. He's tough. 